There's an element of serendipity in the discovery process. Louis Pasteur is quoted as saying that chance favors only the prepared mind. It's the concept that as you're going down a journey, you're, you're keeping your eyes open to new opportunities. So your mind is prepared to take in the new information, but very quickly turn it into a new discovery. A race was on in the industry to bring options to patients. And we had to work counterintuitively against the dogma of discovery. The challenge of what we were trying to accomplish was reflected by how many times we ultimately failed. There were no textbooks, there were no guidelines. So it was really an age of exploration, an age of discovery. It was like finding a needle in a haystack in a field of haystacks. But we never gave up. It was really the first time that we were convinced that this strategy could actually work. One huge advantage we had was this culture at AbbVie which basically allowed us to do any sort of exploration we needed to reach the objective. And this is really the dream to have the opportunity to make a difference in the lives of patients. I remember exactly where I was when we got the first read of the phase three clinical studies. It was a transformational moment. It's incredible knowing our work has made such a difference. The most inspiring thing is the ability to help a patient. But patients have inspired me. They give you little insights in terms of how you can use the medicine more effectively. And it's those insights that your mind has to be prepared for. You're so privileged to do something that actually has an impact on patients' lives, driving the science further and further for even better medicines and then even better medicines after that. And I keep telling early career scientists, think about the one patient that's waiting for that next medicine. And that's what we're doing every day in the lab.